Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to do a European mount the easy way. And uh, this steer was shot by Troy, uh, what, two seasons ago? And uh, this was cool because we had uh, trail camera pictures of him, quite a few. But we've done the traditional European mounts where you boil it and then you do the bleach. And that just takes a lot of time and it's really kind of a pain. And we didn't enjoy doing it. So with this one, we buried it in the ground for three months or so. And then and we had to cover it so the horns wouldn't get bleached. And then we just uncovered it after three months and it was just like this. And we probably should have been a little bit more careful because this nose piece right here kind of broke off. But I don't know, it's good enough for us. It worked all right. And now we're gonna be doing the whitening process uh, with spray paint. And what we're gonna do is we have a bucket of water and we're just gonna spray a top layer of film of spray paint and then we're gonna dunk it in, pull it out. And we got this, the bases all covered with electrical tape and we covered them really well so that so those wouldn't turn white, but we've never done this before, we'll see how it goes. Gotta take more than I thought. Takes quite a bit of paint, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Probably not breathe that in. Ready? Yeah, I guess you just kind of dunk it slowly. I think it's okay if it gets on the bases. You need more paint. It takes a lot of spray paint. Yeah, it does. A lot more than I thought. It works though. Yeah. I think what we need to do, the bottom is really good. I think we need oh. to dunk it from the other direction now. So we dunked it again. It gets on it when you put it in there. So. We're just kind of doing multiple coats. I think once it dries, it's nice and smooth. Looks good. Is it Covered? Well, uh, there's a place back here where we have to touch up. You can probably just spray some. Yeah. I think you want to let it dry. I don't know. Don't have to. Probably all right. You want to spray that last part now, or wait till it dries? You can probably just put it out there. Isn't this easier? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why we dunked it in water. Well, I think if you dunk it in water, you can do patterns. But if you don't dunk it, what's the point? I think for whatever reason, our paint didn't float very good. We must have to research different paint. Yeah. It didn't float that good. Well, let it dry. Yeah. Probably just that in the rock. You should have shot a bigger deer. So it's all done. Uh, the dipping in water, if you're not doing like a mix, I would just spray paint it.
because we ended up just putting on another coat of spray painting it because it kind of got wrinkly but it worked it worked all right and it, now it turned out pretty good it looks pretty nice it looks better than the ones we've done with bleach and stuff because we just we're not patient enough to do it like that but then we just uh, screwed it onto this pine that was dead and we just cut it off with a chainsaw and made a slab and that'll just um, that'll just sit on a table like that